Hello everyone, I am Bianca from Dance Sport Life and we're here at Dance Amore in Rome and next to me I have Oksana Lebedev and Pasha Zviciani. Um, they are amazing dancers with very big careers. They are world uh, show dance champions. They are um, final, semi-finalists in all the big events and they won uh, the third place in the European Championship. Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Is this your first time in um, at Dance Amore? Yes. yes. Premier. So we were very excited and we're so lucky to be here. We're really happy. What do you feel is the best thing so far about Dance Amore? I mean, all the stars, all the legends around us. I'm speaking about the teachers, but also about the couples who are here. It's so inspiring to practice and to listen to all the lectures, so we enjoy that time. Yeah, I think Dan Samori team doing a great job. I heard about it last year, and yeah, we are lucky enough to be this year here. Uh, organization is great, beautiful hotel, Amazing. very good uh, floor, you know, very big, so yeah. everybody has space for lessons and for practice. So uh, next year, come, you should come and join that event is really good definitely and wh what what is the best information you received so far oh yesterday the lecture of paul killick was so inspiring uh you heard about yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> you see like uh, for us girls in latin american dance to hear from him uh, how much care how much sensitivity he brings to actually touch a woman to dance with a woman um, to acknowledge her energy and not to try to control it, but actually let her shine and let her do her things, but just uh, bring it out more in a special way to bring this masculinity in. And I mean, it, I, we just love to work with him. And uh, what about you, Pasha? What do you think yeah, was I the most important information? I think that uh, the all teachers here a very good mixture of everything you know everyone is a huge expert of what they are believing legacy of it uh, delivering to us is just very good you know like paul is his thing carmen is that so every every lecture is something which we can take to our dancing you know that's quite cool oh, and i'm looking so much forward today we're gonna hear karina and espen and yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. We're very excited <laughs> too. <laughs> and um, I would like going a bit of um, through your history because um, I would like to no know more about how your partnership started because obviously you had amazing careers before dancing together as well. Uh, how did you start dancing together? Well, obviously, uh, I knew Oksana, and uh, you know, it's uh, quite a funny story. I we have a f I have a friend who was with Oksana in the same school, you know. So, but we didn't we didn't talk to each other, <laughs> and he was saying to me many years like Pasha, you should dance with Oksana. It will be like a perfect partnership. And I was like, yeah, I kind of you know she was busy with a previous partner, so I didn't want to interrupt. And then when she got free. Espen writes me, Pasha Aksana is free, <laughs> let's, 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 let's uh, contact her, yeah? So we got in contact, I flew from Hong Kong overnight to, I think, somewhere in Germany, Stuttgart, mm -hmm. drove all, all six hours with the car to her, and same day uh, was the tryout. So uh, we arrive, we meet, the first touch was rumba, yeah, or something, or cha, cha I knew that it's, uh, yeah it's gonna be good from I wasn't worried you know like I took and I felt like yeah that's so it. for you it was like the first touch you already knew, knew you it. didn't have to continue the tryout and I was like let's dance <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> stop you know actually uh, my toes cracked because we danced like two days so in a well. row non-stop and wow. I guess you were very tired but still it felt just you know right. it felt just right we need didn't need to talk about anything we didn't need to discuss how you want it uh, how you imagine it we just danced and yeah it felt right yeah. Yeah. and that's interesting because earlier in, a, in an interview with uh, Massimo and Laura they even told 
okay even if the touch feels perfect you still need to have a conversation with the, that certain someone because what what if even the connection and everything falls into place what if your goals aren't the same you know we were I think we were lucky in our background because I mean the most uh, profound experience I had in my career was when I danced with Franco. I uh, started, uh, actually I came from youth to professionals, he t took me and I learned so much. And uh, Pasha worked with Franco too. And uh, right, so he has it, he knows how I grew up <laughs> somehow, yeah. And so it didn't feel strange. We have both similar background. And I mean, our goal in dance is to show men or women, to show them real Latin American, authentic dancing, musical, uh, sexy, real, yeah, alive. So we never had a discussion about which direction are we actually aiming to because it just feels right. Yeah. Super. Yeah. <laughs> well, y you can see it in your dance, yeah, because Oksana, she's sh such a feminine dancer and Pasha very masculine and out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're very lucky. Mm -hmm. And what would you say are the three main characteristics of a great dance couple? I think it's very important to understand the dance. What is it? What is Samba about? What is Chachi? You know, they're very characteristical think that there is authenticity inside men and women, connection. Yeah, I guess this is three of, of mm -hmm. what is it. Mm -hmm. I would say you definitely need a technical b basis, base. yeah, base. So uh, from that everything starts. When you feel you stand on your leg and no one in the world will bring you off that foot, you know, especially as a woman in those high heels. Like when you feel the floor, the connection with the floor, with your hips, and then anything you want to achieve with that, like any style you choose, you can be very animalistic or you can be very classical or very sensitive, but this base is the first thing for me which gives you the security. And then, of course, we are not dancing alone, so we dance together. So that projection towards each other, Connection. not only in a physical way, though it's a big aspect, because like for mm. me, I have a ballet background, and I used to, to be too much egoistic, so it's all about beauty and uh, elegance and, um, yeah, how do I look? And the partner helps and supports, but in Latin American dancing, we have that speciality that we really need to learn how to work with the body weight yeah. together. And this is actually a big um, topic. topic and also a uh, huge uh, uh, plus in our dance in comparison to all the other dance Stars, styles yeah. that we can use each other's weight. I can uh, rely on him he will lead me, then I give my weight to him, he redirects it, uh, or I absorb mm. his movement. Yeah, so we l learn from very young age actually to work with each other's weight. So the connection in that is very uh, deep. Yeah, And then the last thing for me which makes a star appeal couple, it's I think uh, what they bring as a person to the floor. Like, uh, I'm always inspired by dancers who are not really the best in their tricks or uh, even thinking like about ballet, like for example, my mom is a choreographer, so she likes when it's real perfect line and the leg is up there and the turn is correctly placed. And I'm the one, I don't care if he falls, but if there is a something which gives you a shiver, you know, and uh, yeah, chills and, uh, if there is a look in it, if there is a magic in the air. I, wow, for me, true. this is a real special dancer then. So I also think with us uh, in dancing, we always try to create that, to search for that. moment yeah. uh, which 
is only one and unique in the world, and it will never repeat itself. So it's very um, well said. Yeah, very well, <laughs> well said. said. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, but it's funny because you do have one of the best legs in the industry of dance sports, so... Thank, <laughs> thanks to my mom, <laughs> I think. Thank you. And what would you say is the most beautiful memory of your career together so far? You, you have yeah, something? you know... Uh, a lot. Every every time we perform is so nice. I mean, just now last uh, show we had in Prague, it was our first uh, uh, presentation. Yeah, I just remember every touch and look and smell, and <laughs> it's just really inspiring. You know, for the next. So it's every time we, I find for myself dancing with Oksana is like something new. You know, like. Every time is something happening. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. Yeah, dancing. that's the beauty of it. Uh, we, we have many memories. I mean, it's actually time runs so fast. Uh, it's already three years three we dance, years, and yeah. our first comp was in Japan, Budokan Hall. I mm. mean, we both love Japan, and the audience mm. there was so warm and is always so welcoming us. And then it's our first time to appear on the floor, and I remember. We just went, okay, let's enjoy it, you know, like very casual in a way, not performing or competing, but let's feel each other. Yeah? And it felt, again, there was no stress. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, you feel stressed and it's a little bit like inside the heart is beating, but then you touch the hand and it's all right, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but f for me, you know, um, our first big moment actually quite close to the moment we started to dance together was the winning of the world champion show dance. You remember in Bonn, like for us both, it was first time ever to take part in this kind of competition, um, mm, yeah, show yeah. dance, right? And it's like four rounds, you need to repeat that Same dance. Thing, yeah. And, we and had it's that funny yeah, how it actually happened. We started to prepare a show in Bali with Aspen, mm -hmm. just as the show dance, like, yeah. you know, Paso kind of thing. Yeah. And then uh, Aspen said, oh, guys, do you think maybe you can compete uh, yes. world champions are you really? Mm -hmm. So we started to have this idea and as more we started to work and practice, yeah, became a world champion. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not experienced in lifts at all and I'm actually afraid of heights. And then Espen throws <laughs> me on his shoulders and <laughs> says, okay, you turn around, oh legs around his neck and all that. And okay, but I felt that Secure, it was, yeah. uh, wow. it went well, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know how, but it went well. <laughs> me <laughs> too, I also never did lifts, yeah, only with you, first time. But yeah. <laughs> yes, it down. was very yeah, intense nice. show uh, act. And then we won it, you know, and that moment they call our names and Actually, you know, we just started dancing together and we, as he said, we never aimed to win it, just did a show dance, <laughs> you know, to have a good number, professional number. And then, uh, you know, he had that gypsy style, his eyes were painted black and uh, all the wild hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so really different experience. And then we win it. I mean, I think these moments, especially for our parents, mean a lot to be there, up there, yeah. And, and talking about parents, I know you, Oksana, have a, a really nice uh, artistic family. Uh, your mother is a ballet dancer, choreographer. Your sister, she's an artist as well. Yes. Your grandfather was a clarinet player. player yeah, and musician. your father a gymnast. Yes. So <laughs> such a crazy wife. family. Yes. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from each of them? Hmm. That's a very, you know, touching mm. question to me because I still learn. It, you know, we all change during life and I mean, there were moments in my life where I thought dancing isn't the thing I'm going to live for. Like, I don't know, sometimes you change and then, and then I wanted just to be happy, I wanted just to enjoy life, maybe it was just a very you know, tired of uh, all the traveling or something, I don't know. And then uh, the family was a bit shocked, you know, by that decision. And 
then with the time I just realized something is missing inside here, you know, and I missed the connection we had for, with them, with the family uh, in the younger years because, I mean, my mom holding my hand, bringing me to dance, and then I would dance there and explain to her, today we learned that, and at home I still show her, mm -hmm. uh, and then I tell her, can you come after work uh, in the hall, Max Schmelinghalle, I will show you, I, I have some choreography on my mind. You know, we were very close, and then there was a moment in time in my life, a dark time when th I didn't have it anymore, uh, so now it's, Really, I'm so happy it's back, and they all the time with us, supporting us. And um, actually, at the European Championship, where we became third, they were there for the first time watching us dancing live. Yeah, they always watch the videos, but and they were there, and we just danced. I, I danced for them. Like, my heart was flying, and it was really <laughs> special. Meaning, you know, the Russian, we were in Kremlin, in Moscow, beautiful venue, great energy, and then we were very successful there as well. So we enjoy that time. I'm very grateful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very grateful for all the parents because dance sport is such a sport and an art that requires a lot of support. Support, and emotional patience, and, and strength. I think for all the parents out there, I'd like to wish that um, they see what their child is good in mm -hmm. and then just help them to develop it even more. And there are always things we can improve or change, but not to concentrate on the negative aspect. But uh, every child, uh, every one of us has a talent. And actually to see it, and I think my parents, like my father, saw it very early. He bought camera and then he would film us dance like from <laughs> very little age, you know, and uh, so I'm cute. still waiting for him to put it on a DVD or something <laughs> because we have it on the uh, VCR. VCR. So, uh, yeah, I had great childhood and I'm so grateful to them. And now we are back to good relationships, <laughs> so I'm very happy. <laughs> back to the dancer life. And uh, Pasha, what, what advice, do you have any advice uh, that stick to your mind that you received for, from your parents or from your teacher? Do you have any? Mm, my, my situation was a little bit different. I left family when I was 13. I went to live to Germany because uh, financially, unfortunately, wasn't able to support my dancing life. But my mom was very supportive, so she l let me go. Broke her heart, kind of. She was very depressed in that. My father wasn't really into dancing, so I never felt support from him. Uh, then I was alone very long, yeah, since 13 till like 10 years about. So it was a tough time. But uh, it gave me a lot of faith and belief, you know? Like, it wasn't always success. It was a lot of things I had to learn bad way, kind of, without people being on my side, you know, mm -hmm. support me and so on. But it gave me a lot of strength and belief in myself, which I'm still working on, but it's better. Yeah, I think advice for the guys who love art and dance, uh, keep learning and searching for something, you know, not, it's not really about result. I never, I never thought about, oh, now I'm first or second or third, is a result of your development. So search what you can be better in. Search if, it's never, I, I never think it's good enough ever. Yeah? Yeah. So it's always you can find something and really strive for that. Mm -hmm. Because there's no excuse, no money or no possibilities. It's not. Mm -hmm. If you really want, you can get it, really. You know, it's a story. When I was seven or eight, I saw first time Slavic and Karina, yeah? So obviously I fall in love in, in that image here yeah, of dance. Then I found out Slavic's teacher was Espen. So I had this in my mind every time I, you know, I was thinking about, I wanted to meet Espen. And uh, I, all I heard like, it's impossible, 
it's too expensive or it's too far away and that and this. And then one day, it was a long story, but one day I woke up and I said, I want. So I just took a car and I, I found out that there was a world championship in Innsbruck. Mm -hmm. So I went there, dressed, came to Espen, just, you know, met him and said, hello, I'm Pasha. I really would like to that you will be my teacher and I'm a dancer. He looks at me, you know, Aspen, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> okay, uh, meet me in the evening session. I was like, oh, so you know, I was so nervous. Come back to uh, like eight thirty or something, and then he says, okay, here's the times. I can have time for you. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't even have partner in that time, so. It was a big story started, you know, for me. But uh, to what I'm going, if you have a dream and you really believe and really see yourself in there, there is no stop, you know, money, this is all coming. You just need to really believe and go for it, you know. I can relate 100% with your story because my first interview for Dance Sport Life was with Espen. Mm. And never in my life I would have imagined that my first interview would be with such a legend. Yes. And yeah. Yes. So yeah, guys. Go for it. Go believe for it. and go for it. And I think uh, Pasha doesn't say it because for him it's normal. But he is the most hardworking person I know. Like, he's an artist, he's creative, and he dreams, but he works his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you sort of touched one of uh, my favorite questions because it leaves the, um, the <laughs> couple in a very good spirit. Uh, what do you love the most about your dance partner? You know, I feel our relationship is like in yin and yang, yeah? That uh, Oksana is complete opposite of me in a good way, you know? So what I don't have, she has it. So mm -hmm. I see it very clear and I really appreciate and respect that. You know, I treat it very, um, ob uh, how to say, uh, very conscious mm -hmm. that, so, yeah. I, this is what I love about you. Yeah. You know, of course, we experience many things with different uh, people around us in our life. And somehow it's always influenced by the previous relationships. Uh, what we have now, I feel that I really love that Pasha lets me be the way I am. Mm -hmm. You know, like everyone is different and uh, we have our things like we expect things from each other to be happy. But he doesn't control me, doesn't manipulate me. He just accepts the way I am. And there is this curiosity, you know, about why did she do that? Mm. Ah, hmm. You know, or mm, it's interesting. Like, I always feel something special beside him, you know, like he doesn't uh, uh, treat me in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even like if he needs his moment, then there is a distance and I give it to him to fill his space. And, you know, a man needs it in a partnership, yeah, to decide what he wants. But then I'm always like, I feel treasured and valued and um, my voice is uh, heard by him. You know, that I appreciate the most. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful relationship between yeah. a man and a woman. But it's a hard work. <laughs> it's not. It's not uh, just natural. So it's. But it's okay. You know. This is how it is. <laughs> That's good. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thank you.